never believed I could draw at all. I could only do five minutes maximum with the 3B or a 6B pencil and I was really, really limited. So I have CFS and fibromyalgia and severe chronic pain and burning in my hands for about over 10 years now. And I've proven now that I can actually draw. And with art, with lots of different mediums, drawing is kind of essential. So even if you need to create a couple of little thumbnail drawings for a painting, hopefully this is going to help you guys. I took on a 1.2 metre painting of Ganesh and it took me about one year to draw it from scratch and to scale it up and to transfer it onto the canvas. I wish I had of known about all of these secret tricks back then but oh well I guess. Um, so it took me in the end about six years in total to finish that painting and it was a really big achievement. So you don't have to be as ambitious as I was. I'm going to introduce you to two different ways you can draw and control your pencil marks. I alternate between both tripod and overhand grip because they use different muscles and it increases my drawing time. And combined with all of the other tips and tricks that I have in store for you in all of my videos and future videos coming up it makes a huge difference when you add them all together. I also space out my drawing sessions with regular breaks to make sure my hands can rest and recover and that's really important too. Another thing I do is I run my hands under cold water under the tap and I also soak them regularly as well. So firstly we're going to start with the tripod grip which looks like this and then we're going to move on to the best grip ever the overhand grip and I'm going to start with showing you the tripod grip first and I'm just showing you how your fingers are placed. It's exactly the same as when you're doing some handwriting. So it mainly uses the index and the thumb finger to apply the pressure needed to control your pencil and also uses a lot of motion through the wrist. And uh, it's best used for kind of creating fine lines and small detailing. So I actually find this really, really tough on my hands in general. And as you can see, it's a lot of movement just through the wrist. That's where the movement originates from. So you can see you can do lots of nice fine lines, lots of detailing. So it's really, really great for that and having a lot of control over those smaller marks. So even though this is really fantastic, you've got heaps of control, I find it's really, really hard on my hands. And I discovered the overhand grip, which I've just changed my hand position to right now. So your hand is just really, really nice and soft and relaxed. And even those four fingers help to support the weight of the pencil. So it's, it's really, really easy and light. And the movement comes from your shoulder all the way down through your arm, wrist, fingers onto the paper. So the movement starts at the shoulder and your whole arm moves. And that's what's creating the marks on the page. So... This has been a real game changer for me. I used to think that I couldn't draw at all. And with this overhand grip, it's much better to have uh, a really, really nice, sharp, long uh, lead pencil. As you can see here, I just put, pop that through my electric sharpener, which I will hopefully do a review on very soon, which is another lifesaver. And you can get a variety of different marks, which are a lot more gestural and it looks a little bit more like calligraphy uh, and uh, it's great just to get the variation in the line as you're drawing. And it gives you it just gives you a really a greater range of motion. It's it's good for larger scale drawings and things like that because you can cover a lot of area really quickly. You can see you can use it on the side and get a thick mark and use it um, pulling down to get a fine mark in that 
just before and also you can use it by changing the angle of your hand like I did just then to get either a thick or a fine mark and it's also great for laying down really large areas of tone when you've got so much surface area on a long lead to work with so it makes that really easy as well if you're covering larger areas so there's so many uh, bonuses with using this overhand grip and it gives you so much more freedom and uh, yeah I'm going to show you a little picture a little drawing of an egg and so yeah you can kind of like mark out your kind of gestural lines just generally as a start and then go in and change to your tripod grip to then get in with some finer lines here I'm just showing you a little bit of cross hatching just to give you a little bit of an idea of the contrast between some of the marks that you can make and the possibilities It can take a little bit of practice to get used to the uh, overhand grip. This is a, um, a eye drawing that I did, which has got a lot of fine marks with it. Uh, what I found through drawing and generally, I have a lot of trouble with sharpening. It really hurts my hands. This is a manual sharpener. However, a little trick, another trick that I picked up is that whilst your grip, whilst you're actually drawing, is that you can turn the pencil slightly as you draw to get the finer part of the lead. Just give it a little try, you'll be really surprised. So if you're making a lot of marks in one direction, it kind of uh, makes a bit of a diagonal angle to the lead, which is gonna what I'm gonna show you in a second. So I'm just making lots and lots of marks, but then when you turn it slightly, you'll get a sharp part of the point, fine point of the pencil again. See this, the lines finer than what it was before so that's another great little trick so you don't have to sharpen your pencil so much as while you're gripping your pencil slightly turn it just a smidge and you'll be really really surprised your pencil will last so much longer and save your hands if you don't have an electric sharpener anyway I'm just demonstrating some more of the overhand grip and you can just see how easy and just natural it is it can take a little bit of practice to get used to but it is well worth it yes you can actually draw and I really want to share all of the possibilities with you guys and I hope you found this really really useful and got some value from it and thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one